So you've done so much of that, which again goes back to this kind of the character in the community uh, and, and culture formation that you talked about. The second thing, and I remember this distinctly, there was an article back in the day that compared you to the Newt Rockney of lacrosse. And it was talking about how you have been an incredible champion for the game. Uh, you know, when this game, when you began 35 years ago, this was an East Coast sport. And, and it is kind of, you know, run across the fastest growing sport in America for many years. And it's penetrated the Midwest and the West Coast and everything. And you have taken on games all over the country. You've gone to camps uh, like a missioner uh, to, to spread the word of the game. And then you've even taken our team up to play in inner city neighborhoods in Chicago to do tutorials for, uh, for kids along that way. So you've been an incredible ambassador for the game. Tell yeah. us about that, that role and why you think that's been so important. Well, one at a time, the, the, the service first. One of the things about the service is it really, it instills in our guys a sense of, of gratitude and humility, right? And, and I think that's a great place to start as a team and, and trying to, to build out the things, you know, culturally that you want within the team. Um, there's nothing like service, right? And, and again, the lessons from, from our parents, right? I mean, uh, my, my, my mother and father were not ones listening for listening to whining or complaining. They're always like, Hey, if you're complaining too much, then you need to go out and, 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 and find out how many other people have it way tougher than you do. Like you, you know, you've got, you, you know, you get, you get one complaint about something. That's it. After that, go, go out and do something for somebody else and, and realize how lucky you are. Um, and, and I, and I kind of feel like that with our guys. I think when they do this service, uh, they get more out of it than they than they give to it, um, and and especially if if we do it right, if we do it well, and they and they truly engage in it and 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 interact with people, and and you know at Notre Dame, uh, Lou, one of the people that that I just love in this community is is Jay Caponegro, uh, who has just done an unbelievable job. You know, he, he's just a wonderful person. You know, and and somebody like that, he inspires you. Uh, he gives you ideas of ways to connect with different people in the community. He knows the people here and, and he's really done uh, great things to help us to really find meaningful service opportunities where, where we weren't patting ourselves on the back and standing around, you know, waving. We were, we were engaging with people and, and making a difference, hopefully, you know, in, in, a, in a meaningful way for both people. And I think everybody gets something out of that. Yeah. He continues um, to be a great leader in this community. There's no doubt. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, and then, you know, as far as the the, the missionary zeal of the game, I, I kind of grew up with that. Right. My dad was coaching when my dad was coaching. There probably weren't 25 college lacrosse teams in, in, in the country in, in Division One, you know. And 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 so, you know, I grew up with the game growing and expanding. When I was in Virginia, we became the second public high school in the state of Virginia to, to be have a varsity team. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so I was I was. I, I understood that, you know, the game is such a great game. And there's so many positive things about it. It's got such a great history, um, you know, and, and it stays connected to that history. You know, I yeah. mean, lacrosse is a game, you know, I, you don't hear baseball talking about the origins of their game a lot. But it, but in lacrosse, you do because it was, you know, given to us by the Native American community. Uh, and it meant so much more to in that community than simply a, a a game. It wasn't just mm -hmm. an exercise. It's it's known as the creator's game or the medicine game in that community because it it was more to them than that. And that and that's kind of permeated through this game. So I love that aspect of it. When we got here, there was also a very practical function. We were the farthest west of anybody playing Division One lacrosse, and I said we could either be on the outside looking in, or we can be on the edge looking out. Mm -hmm. Let's 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 be that. Let's be that connector between. Where the game in the east and all that, and and let's let's help the game grow and expand, and let's be part of that, and 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 that puts us right in the middle instead of instead of putting us on the edge, and and uh, and I think you know so we played games in Seattle and 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 you know San Diego and and you know Boston and Florida and Texas and 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 so you're you're going all over the country and and it's it you know it's a it's just part of that community's growth of in the game so it was it was it was a practical purpose in it and it was also just a a love for the game and wanting to see it become as popular as as i think it can and should be